Hey guys, what's up? It's Scoundrel here and welcome to my video on contraption and when to buy it. Now, just want to say sorry for having not updated in a while. I have had a very, very busy few weeks with the house and just haven't got round to making videos. I also had a problem with the upload on my internet connection. It was just very, very slow and it meant it would have taken a week to upload a YouTube video, which is always fantastic. So today we are talking about that wonderful item contraption and why you shouldn't be building it every single game to replace your vision control. Now contraption is a 2100 cost max three charges and 20 second recharge time on each of those charges and you can either replace a scout trap or use a flare with it. Flares cost 25, you get 5 per stack and they're on a 5 second cooldown. Scout traps cost 50, you get 5 per stack and are on a 4 second cooldown. Interestingly enough, the 4 second different to the rest of the field. Now, not really sure why that is, but that's just the case. So, to get to a point where you have spent more on flares or scout traps than you have on contraption, you have to buy 84 flares and 42 scout traps. Now, I would be impressed if any of you bought that many uh, vision items during a game. Maybe some pros do, but that's a lot of vision items to invest. Um, so I'd be impressed if you spend more than 2,100 gold on your vision items in a regular game of Vainglory. The other important part of this is you get max three charges, and those three charges are on a 20 second cooldown. So once you've used those three charges, you're on a point where you can't use vision for, you know, up to 20 seconds. Obviously they start regenerating as soon as you use one, but they are on a limited supply. Let's take a look at this small clip between SK Gaming and Dynasty. It's not a special clip, it's got no real relevance to anything, there's no major team fights, but just take a look at how much vision Hegman and Mowgli use over the course of this small one minute clip. You can see already, Hegman's got three flares in inventory and three scout traps in inventory. Mowgli has four scout traps in inventory and also has a number of flares. Already you're getting to the point where the amount of scout traps they're putting down and the amount of flares that they're using has far surpassed where contraption would have provided for them. And the fact that they are using all these flares is allowing SK specifically to advance their lineup, clear the scout traps out by just using the amount of flares that they have in inventory. And Mowgli is trying to then bring his vision line back to be able to control. So you can see all of this vision investment for both teams is way more than what Scout Trap would have provided for them. And it's, it's just, a, you see it regularly in pro play. Very rarely do you see Contraption built unless in a very specific circumstance. It also has allowed Mowgli and Hegman to go for things like Crucible and Echo, which Crucible is needed for SK to block the Rhyme Root, the Death from Above, or the, or the uh, Gauntlet from Mowgli, and it's needed from uh, Mowgli to be able to block from Hell's Heart or Holy Nova. So again, Contraption, by going it as a first or second item after Fountain, you're actually neglecting other items that you should be buying, or those other situational items like Atlas Pauldrons or Crucible. But when would I buy Contraption? Well, I would buy Contraption into a matchup where I need to maintain consistent vision control without the need to consistently buy Scout Traps and Flares, which is into those matchups like Taka, Kestrel, and Flicker. So Contraption should be a supplementary item to your vision control game, and it should never completely replace it. That's to say it should be a way, and I often use this mainly for scout traps, to just control the vision on the map without having to think too much. And that's when I want to do a uh, mass spam of scout traps where I'm going to be spending or placing more than 80 scout traps over the course of a, a, a game because I'm playing into the likes of Kestrel or Taka. It should also never completely replace flares. And this is a really important point because flares are so important at uh, providing vision for your team when moving as a team through the jungle and trying not to get caught out. Having max three flares on a 20 second cooldown on each charge severely hamstrings your ability as a team to move forward and control Kraken, try and push back into your jungle, or even just uh, force a fight in safe areas. So by having a limit on your flares, in terms of, of a max of three with 20 seconds of cooldown, it really hamstrings your, hamstrings your team. So you should never completely replace flares uh, with contraption. It should be supplementary to your vision control. Only in matchups where you need that amount of vision control. It is a situational item, just like Atlas Pauldrons in Crucible. Which is why I build it in those matchups where vision is necessary into Kestrel, into Taka, into Flicker, just making sure I'm maintaining good control of the map where I want to keep tabs on specific targets that can evade vision by natural means you know so it's it's 
an item that I know a lot of lower tier players want to buy because it's, oh, it's free scout traps, free flares, I don't have to think about it. But it actually promotes bad habits. By building the contraption as a regular part of your build, it, it builds bad habits because you say, oh, well, I don't need to buy scout traps and flares now. But no, you do. You actually do. You need to add those, and scout traps and flares should always be part of your build path as a captain, and contraption should be a way of supplementing that build. I also sometimes build contraption as a last item in my build when I have six items, and suddenly it's more about team fighting, so I want the cooldown, I want the bit of extra health and the energy recharge. That is also a fine time to consider a contraption when, you know, you're just going to go into them in the lane, vision doesn't matter as much, and you just want to have the extra combat stats, because you should never overlook the combat stats that the contraption provides especially for someone like Lyra who scales off health and cooldown her sigil becomes that much more powerful with those two items which is why you sometimes see Lyra's pick this up early in their build and that is again something that is perfectly fine but t t higher tier Lyra's they might build contraption earlier but they never replace it for their flares they'll always have flares and sometimes even extra scout traps to work with as well Sorry I've been away for a while, guys. I hope this has been uh, a fun video and uh, you've learned a little bit from it. I'll be making a video on Churnwalker. Uh, my upload is back to normal, so I should be able to continue to making some videos this week as well. And I will try and update my tier list because there's been some shifts in what is good in the meta right now. So I'll probably publish a updated tier list before we get to 2.9 as well. And when 2.9 comes out, I will also do tier lists on those build paths and also tier lists on Heroes 2. So I will see you very soon, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.